<laughs> What's up? <laughs> you so much it feels like I know you. I know right? I'm uh, so glad you're not like seven foot tall make yeah. me feel short. <laughs> five, five nine and a half. Yeah cool man. Dang, babe, how does wow you feel? whoa he has a oh, nice cab. Oh you should see our <laughs> Oh wow. Look at the crew cab. Holy Dang. crap. We didn't have this baby. That's nice. We only have this portion right We here. were like smushed in there. Yeah. No yeah. I, ch I took out the back seats and just made it all tools. Oh shit. Oh really? wow. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. That's how I got away without having a toolbox. Because at the time, this was the only one on the market. So, how's Joe coming over? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> what up, guys? No plan interview questions. This isn't an interview. We're just chit-chatting. Meeting my homie from Columbus, Ohio. Um, <laughs> he started junk removal, I want to say, what, a little bit a year ago now? Uh, yeah, just uh, about a year and a half. So, Lug Stars. The one and the only, the infamous. Now, I started that location here. I was in junk removal before, since. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I was doing it, but I, it wasn't like full on with the business. So I was, uh, I had like a truck and trailer. I didn't actually take it seriously until I moved here to Columbus. But yeah. Yep. But okay. this business here, yeah, about a, a year and a half. I didn't know that. Yep. And one of the other fastest growing YouTubers kind of caught up to a lot like you're in the am I yeah I haven't yeah. looked for a while I've been out there yeah been you're busy. like almost 2,000 subscribers and I mean that's yeah. pretty impressive because there's only a couple of, there's only two other people that are in that realm yeah. which is um, sky, oh yeah I guess you're right huh? sky and clutter reduction and clutter reduction but yeah. for the amount of videos that you posted so and then you get the old school guys have been on yeah. forever but know? yeah he's got awesome content guys he doesn't post as often anymore but maybe well, he'll start. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Maybe posting he'll start again. posting again. But he posts more of like he actually talks about the business and gives you actual advice as he's like on. So it's like a day in the life. Like it's along the yeah, journey. Yeah, people like that the best. But he also like he would show his call recordings. Mm -hmm. He would actually give you uh, tips and companies that are actually beneficial, like Perfect Click, which Perfect Click works good for you. Oh, yeah, so, so yeah, 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 works great. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Um, love it. Most channels are just like follow me along and they don't really give you any actual applicable advice that you could use or something. Yeah, check out Lug Stars guys. And uh, yeah, man, awesome to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you too. Dude, it's nice to so. meet other junkies, <laughs> Jun junksters. <laughs> so um, what's, what's going on with you? What's, what's up with your, uh, you have this app going on. Yeah, you can and use every, it. I see your videos and I yeah. see crowds swarming around you. Yeah, so. What's going on? Uh, what software are you using? Right now, I use House Call Pro. I always have, actually. I tried Workies, but I didn't like the learning curve. It was just... It was, You're talking about the CRM, right? Yeah, CRM. Yeah. Technically, it's an FSM, a field service management tool. A CRM <laughs> is a customer relationship management tool, which CRMs usually let you interact with customers a little better, like marketing to them, building relationships, right? So a CRM is more built around sending emails and following up with customers. I guess it has a little CRM built in, but it's very, very minimal. What we're using is technically considered field service management tools, mm -hmm. which is seeing where your truck's at, managing jobs, schedules, invoices, payments, collections. CRMs isn't about payments and collections and invoices. Right, yeah. So, but this is where I am trying to come in with my software is kind of merge the two because the two biggest problems for me was when with my software, tell me your problems might have been a little bit different, but the most frustrating parts when first starting my junk removal business was number one, handling the incoming phone calls. Not only just call tracking and knowing where they come from, you know, you obviously set up call rail or using call rail yeah. to kind of see where your phone calls are right, coming for from. for the different numbers. But when I was getting phone calls and I was on the road or on the job, I was so frustrated because I'd have to pull over or I'd have to call back the customer or have them text me. The second problem that frustrated me the most, marketing tools. Yeah. I was constantly having to export contacts to remarket to customers. So you start, after the first year, you might have a thousand or two thousand people in your database. Right. Yeah. Imagine if you were able to just SMS blast all of them or yeah. put them on a sequence where it follows up with them every quarter or every holiday. It's yeah, I think there's a way to do it where you can kind of export that data and do it, but I don't think there's like an all-in-one or they, yeah. 
they and, charge like Buko yes, bucks or something. Yes, and there's, there's nothing that makes it simple where you can literally just say, hey, put all of my clients on a sequence or it follows up every holiday, it sends this, it sends a postcard after six months yeah. and it does it all, it literally will just send a postcard for you in the background. It'll send text messages, emails, voicemails, voicemail drops. And then of course, the biggest thing that I didn't learn until a year later in this business, after paying Google, Perfect Click, Click Ski, yeah. whatever company you're using, what happens to all the price shoppers? Yeah. You lose those leads, we'll call them leads. You have clients and then you have leads. And I was like, imagine if the system, when I hung up with them off the phone, captured it, it captured them as a lead, followed up with them the next day and said, hey Stacy, hey Stacy, I know you were looking you know, around for, I know you were price shopping or I know yeah, you good. were looking for jump removal. This is Dave with Love Stars. Um, I'd love to be the one that helps you if you haven't found anybody, I can give you 5% off. And then if Stacy doesn't reply uh, that um, tomorrow or the next day, it'll send another one a week later. Yeah, and then it's another 30 days later until they finally reply. So I have over like, when I went to my call rail, I closed about 6,000 clients over the last two years and four months. But the, I have a total of my call rail, 14,000 phone calls that came in. Imagine if all 8,000 of those people automatically followed up with them, just automatically, mm -hmm. magically. Uh, one day, seven day, third day, 30 days. So phone calls and marketing tools were the two biggest struggles. I, I was just like, man, I'm, I'm losing here. And then the third one, if I have to say one, is advertising data. Advertising, yeah. So imagine if you can connect your phone calls so that we know where the phone calls are coming from when you book them so you know it's from Google or Perfect Click. And then you also connect your Google ads and your Yelp ads, your Facebook ads, your Facebook ads, and you have everything in one. So now you have the data from everywhere so you can actually see your CAC. Yeah. Your LTV, your repeat customers, your CAT to LTV ratio, um, your average job size, um, and all that stuff. Yeah, that's a little bit different for me because of Perfect Click, so yeah. I have all that so, managed on that site. And I don't have to worry about all the different ones like being yeah. Google and all that stuff. So, but those other two, the first two are really huge. Yeah. So Especially having of, AI pull that in off yeah, the phone. That's, that's and I, I didn't want to be a company that's just like gimmicky with AI. Uh, AI, right, yeah. check out my new <laughs> AI chatbot. Yeah. I was really thinking like, what could I use open AI? I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know ChatGPT is open AI. Open AI has Dolly image generation, has all kinds of AI tools. Yeah, as far as advertising data, a lot of people who are running their own Google ads, their own Facebook ads, which there's a handful, uh, that'd be very powerful. Yeah. Or even if the agencies give you access, you can connect to Google, you can see all your data. I'd show you, but um, I don't have my laptop. But Whew. In short, those are the three things. In those short, are, in those short. Are just, those are just the first three things that we're attacking. They're so, yeah. I'm talk, we're gonna do payroll, HR, credit card machines. I wanna be uh, deploying websites. Yeah, rep, re, one stop shop. Managing your reviews and seeing all your reviews. Just one stop shop, yeah. I exactly. think probably your biggest challenge is going to be making that affordable all one stop, but also with all the services you're gonna have to include in there, yeah. in your costs, and still make it affordable. Yeah. So, really excited. We were supposed to do beta March 20th, which is today, but this road trip really took a lot longer than expected. Yeah, what are the odds a trailer so, went across the country? I so, a bit further than guys, the beta, the official beta is April 7th. I'm sorry, it's delayed, but April 7th is in two or three weeks, maybe sooner. The iPhone and Android is what's slowing us down. That's not gonna be into the app stores until April 7th, but if you're okay with just trying the web app, you can apply for beta now and the web app is ready. If, uh, in like two days it'll be ready. You know, obviously you won't be able to, you know, download the app on the phone, but you can experiment with it to see what, what we got going on. Apply for beta, autopilotapp.io. Oh yeah, you're filming too. Uh, autopilotapp.io. So let me ask yeah. you this. People have their app they're using. Like mm -hmm. I have house call pro. Yeah. People have work keys. Yep. How do you recommend that they mess with yours in an easier way to like transition or see how it works without interrupting what they currently have going on? So, that's actually a good question. Um, for beta, I told people, I strongly recommend only solo operators starting in the beginning, people who aren't running some great operation. Um, because this is beta, beta means bugs, glitchy, yeah. bugs, glitchy and broken. Um, so, we're looking for people who are willing and understand that they are becoming their early adopters. They're going to be grandfathered in with a lower price. You're going to understand those bugs. So, I only want you, 
if you're not running a million dollar operation and you don't have tons of employees. But the the best way to, I mean, it's only forty nine dollars a month, and you get all the tools that House Call Pro has for one sixty nine. Payments, invoices, estimates, jobs, clients, messaging with customers, all of that stuff. All the same stuff, online booking. Um, it's so cheap, you can just try it out and then slowly just, once you kind of get the hang of it, you can s just switch over. Yeah. Um, we yeah, are going to allow you to import, import contacts. Yeah, I was going to say, well, you can't import contacts, but you can't import old jobs. <clears throat> I don't even think House Call Pro lets you export jobs. I'll have to look into that mm -hmm. if they do. Job history. Um, yeah. Job history, yeah, that'd be cool, but that's kind of not on our priority list, yeah. importing old jobs. So you'd be kind of just starting from scratch and you know, you'd start building up your jobs in our system and having that data in our system. But you can import your contacts. So let's say you have 5,000 contacts, you could text blast them, email blast them, put them on sequences, voicemail blast. Yeah. Send them all postcards, whatever you want to do. Yeah, hopefully that answers the question. And hopefully, you'll give it a shot. Yeah. Um, you can try it in beta, and then obviously, oh by the way, we are shooting for an August, an August public launch. So August, all the fancy stuff should be ready. Yeah. So this summer. The other thing you talked about earlier. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Enough about me. <laughs> uh, Dave with Lug Stars. So what is this, um, what was the thing that I watched? It was actually really cool, guys. Um, this uh, what, what not, what yeah. not thing? What's yeah, okay, so everybody knows that I have a, a I still have a, a, you know, a big UA store and I sell clothing and things like that. But uh, recently this uh, new, it's, it's not new, but it's relatively new. A lot of people haven't heard of it or might have heard of it called Whatnot. So Whatnot is basically an app where you can go and do live auctioning, which is really cool because that's how eBay started. Yeah. A lot of people want the live auctioning, you get better deals and things like that. So I have moved a lot of the really good stuff that I sell onto that platform and I'm starting to do shows on Whatnot. And so I was actually going to move my YouTube channel because a lot of people are asking me to upload videos about what I do, how I do that business. So I'm going to start doing that. In the junk community. Okay. Yeah, they want to know like what the, what's the other side because a lot of people they think that um, I do the junk removal and I get stuff from that uh -huh. and I go sell it. That's not what I do. It's a completely um, different business that runs itself. I get inventory yeah. ordered in by either pallet or truckload or boxes, right? Or I go pick it up by like the eight thousand pound bales and uh, and bring it in, right? And that's, that's what I sell. So yeah, <laughs> so you don't get your stuff in junk removal. You yeah. source it. From other places. See those jackets I was selling? Yeah, yeah. New with tags, 511 tags. Yeah. Really can't get that from junk removal. Uh, <laughs> so your, your channel is now going to be junk and resell. No, no, no. I'm going to start a new YouTube channel to avoid the confusion. But uh -huh. the but I'm going to actually put this on YouTube. Actually, they're probably watching it right now. And uh, I'm going to introduce. I have a new channel coming, and then they can follow me on there and take a look. Because also, and, you know, who doesn't buy clothes? Yeah. I, I sell a lot of them, and I got like like this show I have coming up is all going to be brand new Nike, new with tags. Yeah. I'm giving away like Air Force Ones. Every time her and I are looking for specific things, we have to go to like eBay or Poshmark, Poshmark or something. But yeah, anytime I want like fancy video game shirts, I got to go to eBay to find like yeah. certain things. Like yeah. <laughs> shirts. It's addicting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's cool. So yeah, whatnot. Whatnot was trippy because it was like it started at a dollar, yeah. and then you have like what fifteen seconds to decide. Yeah. Well, you can set it up. That, that's okay. how I do it. Yeah, I do that's, fifteen seconds. Yeah. Actually, I do ten seconds. Yeah, it was. I was like just bids like crazy. Yeah, no. I was like, holy crap! You have ten seconds to decide. Yeah. If you and want then sometimes to. people. I mean, those were over hundred dollar jackets. You know, some of them those were for eight, ten bucks. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Those were I was gonna buy one too. I was like, wait, that that blue, that blue one looks cool. You had the green and the blue. I almost bought the blue one. You should have. <laughs> so when you bid on whatnot, is it kind of like, it's kind of like eBay? You, you need to follow through, or you're gonna kind of. Well, yeah, but they charge your card with you win. Okay. okay yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, you your card on that's the something that that was frustrating with eBay is they wouldn't charge people who won, and then you have to cancel and redo yeah. it. Yeah. How often does that happen on eBay? All the time. That's, that's nobody does auctions on eBay anymore because of it. No shit. Yeah. The, well, I mean, they do, but but it's know, just not as common. It's not. It's not great. Really, yeah. people not following through. So what? So what not is like the new way of doing things. eBay is kind of like phasing out, in my opinion. I think they're dying, and they haven't really updated lately. Wait, eBay? Yeah. But where are people going to get collectibles? Yeah, that does still be in yeah. there, but it's it's just not where they're not gaining a new crowd of young people. Yeah, and they're not attracting those people. So as those current buyers they have died, that off, is true. Everyone's going everywhere else. 
Yeah, that's true. If you were to ask Gen Z what eBay is, they probably yeah. don't even know. You mentioned that you're going there for some vintage shirts. That will phase out. Yeah. And when it does, where are people going to go and buy things? Yeah, that's where so, I get like my Chrono Trigger collectibles. And, yeah, you can get stuff like that. You know, but, if people want like if you want free people clothing, or if you want like mm-hmm. Nike or Lululemon, yeah. you get on whatnot and you can pick it up for 10, 20 bucks. I mean, where can you do that? Yeah. You know, new with tags. Yeah. So that's it's true. a really powerful platform, and uh, you know, sellers can move all their inventory very quickly out there. Nice. So that's crazy. So. Um, the new channel you're going to talk about? Yeah, talk you know, about it. V- eBay, yep. selling, whatnot, yep, yep. All whatnot, and what have you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, besides, okay, so that's cool. Whatnot, reselling. Yeah. Um, I've been curious about that too, so I'm excited to hear you talk about that. Yeah. So I can become uh, an eBay boss myself. <laughs> um, but how about, what about jumping over? Jumping over. How's, how's jumping over going? That's good, man. I, I finally got my truck out of a ravine. You, I got told stuck. You about that? No, I didn't. Actually, I didn't. I got my truck stuck for like a week. I could not get out of this pit. I drove down in somebody's backyard. It was downhill, all mud and grass. I couldn't get the truck back out. And I always struggled with that. I had to abandon it for a week until there was dry weather yeah. to clear I, it out. I called you two, three, four days ago, and he was like, "Yeah, it's stuck." And I was like, "Why don't you just get a tow truck?" And he's like, couldn't "Even a it. tow truck couldn't get his truck out." So, no. yeah, that's no. I would have. I would even a crane. Couldn't unless it was like a skyscraper building frame. Really? Like, yeah, it, it, they just couldn't have gotten it out. There's no angle behind the house. It was just, and it was back against the river. No yeah. other way in. Oh yeah, that's so. gnarly. So besides besides getting stuck, um, now that we're at a slow season, are things things getting good? Picking yeah, up? yeah, yeah. Uh, things are great. You know, I run Perfect Click. It's it's full time now. I don't even put up signs. My yard signs. You don't do yard signs. I don't even do yard signs. I don't do anything. Do you so. hear that, guys? Perfect yeah. Click. Perfect click all the it's way. Good. Yeah, well, actually, a lot of them have. Click this link in the video description below. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> sign up, sign up yeah. for Perfect Click. That's good. No, so, but real, real talk. Um, a lot of people have been getting positive um, stuff about Perfect Click. I was one put in, one put out. Kind of a I fair was, chance. I never gave Perfect Click a fair chance. I even talked. I know you about got it. a ton of leads from it. Yeah, I never really even talked about it. Um, I talked about it on my channel, but I never talked about how I didn't give them a fair chance. But I will say this, um, Eric probably has like the best customers oh, yeah, Eric is great. any marketing agency like he was all in yeah like, trying to yeah because you can call perfect click and you can actually get different reps Eric is the best and that's yeah. who I recommend and if you guys want I can send you his phone number yeah. so they're actually a pretty big company I thought they were small I thought it was Eric I thought that was his business yeah but it's not it's really they're like national oh shit they okay. do they do they do uh, junk removal they do every business every home service yeah, I have I even have a buddy who did small motor marketing Know, for like small motor parts and, and fixing small motors and things like that. I wonder when I'm ready to push my software. Because when you type in like field service management software on yeah. Google, there's ads for like Service Titan. I wonder if he does that kind of stuff. Hmm. With that being said, I have one last question for you. What does the future hold for Lung Stars? What What is the plan? What is the master plan here? Uh, it was to scale it, grow, and uh, you know, I just don't know if I'm gonna scale it for right now. I think I'm gonna keep it one truck and a, and a second one on reserve, okay. you know, for when things happen, especially like what I learned yeah. that last week. But um, yeah, I think for now, just kind of like that. Just keep yeah. it a little small, yeah. little. I have, I mean, I have, I have my, my eBay store and I have, whatnot. I have other side uh, things that I do that are actually just as big as junk Google. Actually, mm-hmm. I don't even know if I can call them side hustles anymore. You know, yeah. you know, we sell like two, three thousand in a show one night. So that's. Is that how much you did last night? Uh, not last night. Okay. Last night was a little bit different. I've been limited on the inventory. I'm waiting for another truckload to come in. But it is when I sold like the free people, the Lululemon, the vineyard vines, oh, what the women's clothing. Yeah, because women go and buy up all that stuff. You know? Yeah, she <laughs> she loves that stuff. Um, the best line that we ever found in junk removal for it wasn't like anything crazy, but Aloe hired us like two or three times, and we didn't get a lot of stuff, but we got a couple cute things. Yeah, I was hoping we'd get more, but. Yeah, I'll all that. brand new. What about that stuff. mirror? Oh, that mirror. Isn't yeah. all your videos? That's that was a cool oh, yeah. mirror. Okay, so our best find is technically uh, these silver coins that were rated. They're, what is it? Uh, they, graded. They're graded. They're in the plastic things. They have. Yeah, the, I think it's assay. Something like that. And they're great. Yeah. And we looked them up on their website. They're all perfect condition. There's like a hundred of these coins. We looked up the value of all of them. It was like four or five grand. And at that time, I was killing it. You know, this was uh, right before I started the LA truck. We're doing like 40, 50 grand a month. 
the Ventura truck, yeah. and um, my crew found it. So I just let them keep it. You just let them keep it? Yeah, I, honestly, I wish I, I kept it, yeah. but that was our best find. Our second best find is the gold mirror. We'll have that forever. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think we'll have that forever. Well, we, that, that's, yeah, that's we a pretty listed, cool piece. We listed our Facebook marketplace, I think first for like 800, yeah. we blew up. And then we listed it for like a thousand, it blew up. Then we listed it for fifteen hundred, it blew up. And we're like, wait a minute, we're just gonna hold on to this because it's it's huge. It's like, is it branded? I don't think so. No, no yeah, not branded. Yeah, it's just just that framing on the mirror and yeah. the size of the mirror. Yeah, yeah it's huge. Oh, it's so. You awesome. Gotta be careful moving that thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, guys, it's been a pleasure meeting. Uh, I feel like I know you because we talked. Yeah, about, man, we talked talk so much, phones, like all the time. Like over the last year and a half, we talked a lot. And um, I recently found out that he also likes Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is my childhood game. I beat it in 1997. I was Show him a screenshot of what, the, what it looks like. I don't think they even know what Chrono Trigger is. Yeah, unless so, they play like Super Nintendo. So if any of you guys know this game, you're cool. If any of you guys know this game, so what's really cool is you sent me a little banner too. I did. It's still, it's still posted. You helped me a ton that last year and I was just like, man, I want to get this guy a gift. Yeah, thank you for that by the way. You're welcome. So, yeah, I guess uh, that can. Any last questions, or should that conclude our whatever this was interview, yeah. meet, hangout? <laughs> As always, guys, I leave you with this. Toodles. <laughs>